Yo, what's that word, man? What y'all got going on? That ain't no shit cool and as usual. You know me. Continue to run me up, though. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Continue to run me up the right way. And for my supporters, continue to support the real all the way around the board. And for the trolls and the haters, continue to do what y'all do best, man. Hide behind this internet, pop y'all shit, talk y'all shit, because y'all know a motherfucker will never see y'all in real life to slap piss out y'all mouth. So do what y'all do best. Continue to pop y'all shit behind this internet, man. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be funny as hell. Y'all make me laugh. And I know I've been promising y'all this EBT STL documentary for a while now. I told y'all when I hit 5,000 subscribers, I was going to get to y'all. But, you know, I've been putting these little plays together in my personal life. You know what I'm saying? But I got a little time tonight. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Before I get into the documentary, though, I want to make this loud and clear, bro. Before it was the EBT. We started on 63rd and St. Lawrence, man. We was STL Boss City. And folks then was on 65th and Rose. We was 65 STL Boss City. Folks them on 65th and Rose was locked in with us. Bro them used to call themselves 65. And we was STL Boss City. We had a liquor store on St. Lawrence that we used to hang in front of doing our number, doing the number. For those no, no. A lot of people don't know about that type of shit because a lot of niggas is not official. A lot of niggas is fucking goofies. You know what I'm saying? They new fucking goofies. I wouldn't even call them new because it's like they, I don't consider them from the hood. Anybody with FBG, FYB, behind they name is not from 63rd is not from 62nd is not from 64th man fbg fyb is not from 63rd 62nd nor 64th make that shit loud and clear man they ass is goofies I'm going to say it one more time. They is not from neither one of those blocks. They ass is goofies, man. They come from, I don't know where they come from. And they ass just keep multiplying. Every time I look up, you got fucking a FYB Doolittle, a FYB shorty shit stain. Like, damn, where the fuck is these niggas constantly coming from? Literally. I don't know where they coming from. But anyway, they is not from the hood. They stop putting 63rd, 64th, 62nd on their name. Them niggas make the hood look fucking bad. And if don't nobody say nothing, I'm going to stand on that. They is not from the hood, man. FYB, FBG is not from the hood. Do I got to say this shit again? They is not from neither one of them blocks. They ass is goofy ass internet clout chasing rappers. Period. But I'm going to get into this documentary and take y'all a little ugly ass back to like 2006. You know what I'm saying? Take y'all a little ass back to like 2006 before it was the EBT. You got TYMB and Trap City was clicked up. We all know that. You know what I'm saying? I was fucking with Lil Shamari from Trap City. That was my man, 100 grand. And even when the war was on, folks in them knew not to touch him, harm a hell on his head. Because they knew if they would have touched Samari from 67 and Rose Trap City, I was going to be in tour with him. Oh, um, bro. Because that was my man. And I told him, don't touch him. Any one of y'all see, see Lil Samari, give him a pass. Pia, that's my boy. Pia, 100 grand. And folks was on the same shit. Folks, look, G, you see anyone of mine, look the other way. Because they ain't going to touch you. And that's how it was when it came to Samari. But when it came to Young Money, t -Wam B, you know, I mean, I was cool with a lot of they ass. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers know that. You know what I'm saying? I was cool with a few of they ass. Also, y'all know I went to look like, uh, like all of us went to Macos together. A lot of us went to Macos together. And I was cool with a few motherfuckers from TYMB Young Money. You feel me? And 
Another thing I want to say, this BDGD war, this shit that y'all so fascinated with, this shit started from EBT, TYMB Young Money, man. This shit started from our side, from us. Parkway, we wanted to tour with no Parkway, we wanted to tour with no Brick City 600, we wanted to tour with none of them niggas, man. It was the EBT Young Money War. Period. So, back to the subject. My fucking um, Trap City and Young Money was clicked up, you feel me? Little four them used to be running around the hood, breaking in cribs and doing what they do best, like a lot of niggas from a lot of hoods used to do. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Lil' Fonell was up under me. I used to be on 63rd and St. Lawrence. Lil' Fonell used to run around doing what they do best. You know what I'm saying? When they had their free time, they was getting into it with Trap City and Young Money. So, you know what I mean? I discovered they was in tour when one day I was on Eberhard. I seen Lil' Shamari and them, Trap City, Young Money, marching down Eberhard, deep as hell. Literally like a hundred strong. Lil' Fonell wasn't deep at all. You know what I'm saying? But... Shorty and them was clicked up. I don't know where the fuck all they little ass was coming from, but they was deep as hell marching down um, 64th and Eberhard. Screaming to the top of their lungs. Trap City, young money. Trap City, young money. Loud as hell. So, you know, I run up on Lil Shamari. Bro, what y'all got going on? See? And then I see Lil Fo them running every time they marching down the block. Lil Fo them scouting, running, getting up out of there. Shawty now marching through that bitch screaming, Trap City Young Money. So I, boy, hold on, Lil Samari, for what y'all got going on, boy? He getting that man, fo. These niggas bitches, fo. Every time we catch one of their ass, we gonna beat their ass. Da -da 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 -da. Um, oh, no, nah, I'm, um, yeah. Now, Lil Samari was my boy, you know, but I ain't from my move, fo. But this is where I'm from. I'm from 63rd, 64th. These, like these the little guys. Oh, y'all not finna be coming down here doing that to Lil Fo them. But um, yeah, all right, right. Say less. They slide off. I tell Lil Fo them, fo, y'all better start popping their ass. Um, bro, they deep as hell, fo. Y'all not all that thick. Y'all better start popping their ass. Next time they come through here, fo, y'all better blow at their ass. Lil Fo them getting that. We ain't got no pipe, fo. We ain't got this. We ain't got that. Say less. That's little shit. My fuck gets all together. Motherfucker got them, got they little ass together, and Lil' Fo them start blowing at their ass. Now, when they seen Lil' Fo them playing with Blix, they start getting their hands on Blix, blowing back. Now, my mans, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna name drop or do none of that shit. My mans, though, my mans get his finger shot off. Long story short, my man's get his finger shot off, goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? Sticking his nose in little folk them business one day. Long story short, folks get his finger shot off. All right. Bad. Say less. Now we in it. Folks get his finger shot off in Makash Park. Now we in it. All right. Now when we hop in it, we pressing. Nothing but pressing. Motherfucker talk that shit. Yeah, oh yeah. Motherfucker um tried me and got his finger shot off. T.Y. lost his life behind that shit. P. T.Y. lost his life behind that shit. Again. And at the end of the day, that shit wasn't even for T.Y. That shit wasn't for Young Money. That shit wasn't for them. Motherfucker was really on Trap City bumper, but you know, they ass was angle say hi and they was moving smart because they knew what time it was. They knew what time it was. They popped folks' finger off and they knew, yeah, dude, them in and that. So it's like, dude, them go press. And motherfucker was pressing real pressure. Motherfucker was playing real press. A dude then was hiding. T.Y. got caught out there loafing. Long story short, motherfucker put him there. Motherfucker put him under. So at the end of the day, a motherfucker talked that old, oh, yeah, motherfucker got they fingers shot off playing with me. And da -da 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 -da. And T.Y. got put in a casket behind that shit. But anyway, 
when T.Y. got put in his box. Now, you know, shorty them come from the low end. You know what I'm saying? They grew up in the low end, um, in the little project buildings where the biddies was there. You know, a lot of niggas grew up with shorty them, new shorty them, peoples and they family and shit. So when he got put in his box, now, yeah, hey, motherfucker, he and EBT really like getting young money to dick. Come on, man. The city knew that. EBT was getting them the dick. STL was just running up behind us, riding our coattail. They wasn't on nothing. Off the strength, we started on St. Lawrence. All right, fuck it. We all is one EBT, STL. That was just off the strength. But in reality, come on, man. I fucking knew who was them steppers. You see what I'm saying? STL wasn't doing shit. And EBT, we wasn't even deep at all. It was like for us, plant pressure, real pressure. Anything, motherfucker, come our way that's like aggressive, that ain't with us on the phone, and we stepping on their ass, running straight through them. Um, bro, running through armies, about four, five of us, literally. We won deep. For then, it was like four, five of us, plant, plant pressure. If y'all think about it, go back from fucking 2006 all the way to 2011. No, nah, fuck it. From 2006 all the way to my fucking... I ain't gonna need to say 2006. I'm gonna say 2007. Uh, 2007, because that's when I'm gonna fucking form EBT. 2007. In 2006, we was still STL Boss City, but... And, and uh, 65, shit like that. But 2007, EBT was formed. Now, from 2007 all the way to fucking... 2010 the the beginning of 2010 who died you can't say Tuga cause he got hit up in a winter of 10 so from 2007 all the way to the beginning of 2010 who died who got popped who died and who got popped Matter of fact, let me take that back. Because Face got his ass popped in 09, 2009. But from 2007 to the beginning of 10, who died? Ah, wait. Nobody. You know why? Because them real steppers was out there. Come on, man. Them real steppers was out there on offense and defense, man. Niggas start dying when these goofy-ass FBG, FYB clown dickheads came in the picture. On the phone, everybody got locked up, and these FYB, FBG rapping-ass dickheads came in the picture, goofy as hell, and they just got to get in their ass patched. Now the world looking at it like, oh, yeah, hell yeah, they doing this. They ass getting past it. Man, look, motherfucker ain't take no fucking, motherfucker ain't take no L's, man. That's FYB, FBG. They ass don't count. Any motherfucker that was affiliated with FBG, FYB don't count. Yeah, we lost Doc for them. And Lil B don't count because the police bumped him down. But, yeah, Doc got caught out there on some fresh out shit. His head wasn't in the game. You know how that shit go. Pig. But at the end of the day, from 2007 to fucking the beginning of 2010, what y'all was hearing about? EBT. Who was dying from the hood? Nobody. Because we was protecting and serving that bitch with an iron fist. Literally. My mama, all facts. We went into it with no Parkway or 600. They got the stick in their nose in the business when T.Y. got his ass knelt. Because Young Money was fucking with Parkway. When he got knelt, that's when they started low-key sticking their nose in the business. Motherfucking throwing rocks, hiding their hands. And before you know it, all right, say less. It's on with y'all, too. And that's what it was. Now, fast forward to 2011. I got bumped in 09. I got out in, in 2011. I got out in 11, nigga. And all these weird-ass niggas was down here. There was a lot of little goofies down here. 
You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't even know. You know what I'm saying? I got out in 11. I met Duck. He was down here. I met a lot of niggas used to be with Duck and, you know, they little crowd and, you know, shit. They wasn't putting in no work. They start rapping and they playing the backfield. My fucking in a studio why them members playing the front line putting their life on the line for this shit they freedom on the line for this shit and they rapping about it me not even knowing this internet shit and I mean what's to this shit they really like knew what was going on with the internet shit so here it is why we out here putting our life on the line and our freedom on the line shorty them out here fucking my fucking rapping about it like it's really them and got the world literally thinking it's really them stepping on shit but let's be for real man they was rappers they weren't stepping on nothing facts they weren't stepping on nothing man why you think so many of they ass got put in the ground because they man weren't there they was playing them real members that was out here, man, look, a killer gonna think like a killer, man. A bitch nigga gonna think like a bitch nigga and a clout chaser gonna think like a clout chaser, man. If you really out here in the field, you not finna get caught. You not finna get caught. If you get caught, it was some backdoor shit. If you really out here in the field stepping on shit, it was some backdoor shit if a motherfucker puts you in the casket because you know how this shit go. If you a clout chaser playing on the internet, I mean, the odds is very high that you bound to get caught because you think it's a joke. You think it's a game. You know what I'm saying? Because the internet running your life. These views and likes running your life. You not really like that. The fans controlling you because they putting the cables on you. They gassing you up to believe that you something you not. But back to the subject, man. Now, when T.Y. got knelt, park where they stuck they nose in the business they got niggas from the hundreds was sticking they nose in the business all type of shit so now it's like it's becoming a bd gd thing it's not no stl ebt tymb thing no more it's becoming a bd ebt stl thing now when a motherfucker discover all the hoods out here throwing rocks hiding their hands motherfuckers plant pressure on them too now it's hidden. You know, I mean, it's, 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 it's spreading. Now you got 051, got what they got going on, tension in the L with fucking 46, whatever they had going on down there. Then you got my fucking Saudi them from um, 62nd and Vernon going to school diet and shit with fucking 51st um, young money. And you know, they got mutual ops. So it's like they locking in, clicking up. Now it's the click up thing. Yeah, I'm a fucker clicking up now. Fucking 12, 2012, 13 here. Everybody clicking up now. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Letting the fans motherfucking put the cables on them. And their motherfucker letting the views and likes get to their head. And the comments on the internet get to their head and they just doing all type of dumbass shit out here. Now that's the BDGD thing. Now niggas getting record deals and shit. Niggas getting record deals. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got them it, um, making a few, uh, a few dollars off the internet because they seeing motherfuckers around the world infatuated with the GD and BD war. You know what I'm saying? So niggas... You know what I'm saying? Go do anything to... Like, motherfucker gonna do anything so folks could put their name in this song. You see what I'm saying? So it's like motherfuckers just got to run in haywire. You know what I'm saying? And Tuga got knelt. Tuga got knelt on the bus stop in the winter of 2010. I was locked up. A lot of the guys was locked up. But at the end of the day... He won our crowd again. I don't even know where he came from. He wasn't my crowd. He wasn't Lil B crowd. He was just a shawty that was in the hood from fucking the end of 09 to the end of 10. I was locked up when he had his little run in the hood. I mean, he wasn't doing shit, I guess. I don't know what he used to be doing, fucking the little hoes or whatever the case may be, but he wasn't putting no work in. He got his ass left on the bus stop. And, you know, I mean, shit. 
Niggas, I mean, that shit just started going haywire. Straight up. Tutu got his ass left. After that, uh, who got no? An uh, imposter got no. I don't need no shorty that uh, fucking Jeremy or some shit. He got no. He didn't even count. Like, motherfuckers just started getting hit up because them members that was protecting and serving the hood, them real members, was locked up. How many times tra Trap City, Young Money, Parkway came through the hood blowing while them members was out there? They getting into bang outs. They getting their ass hit up. They dropping their guns. You know how many guns we picked up from them niggas? Trap City. Ask them. They came through that trying to blow one day, throw rocks and hide their hand and got their ass caught, got passed up for them. Nigga got hit up, dropped his gun. They calling to get their gun back. We ain't know he was finna come down there and do that. Man, watch out. Come get the gun back. Oh, bro, we out here. That's how we coming in real members. Y'all ain't finna come down here and get no gun, boy. Oh, finna this our shit. TYMB. How many times they came through, uh, through our shit while their members was out there? Trying to blow. Get into a bang out. Get they ass shot up. They dropping their guns on four and niggas getting hit, dropping their guns, trying to run back to their destination. Four and we picking their guns up. We came up on like five blicks like that Parkway. They dropped two blicks trying to come through here blowing, get into a bang out. They dropped their guns trying to make it back to their destination because motherfucker was on their ass playing pressure, real pressure on my daughter. Real pressure. No flex. Niggas was playing real pressure, man. Them members was out there. But when them members was getting locked up, you know, I mean, who gonna protect and serve the hood now? It's just a whole lot of goofies out here running wild. No structure. We had structure amongst EBT when them members was out. We had real structure. And they ain't even speaking upon the shit that, you know what I'm saying, the deuce was doing. Like what they had going on with Brick City 600. Before they were 600, I ain't even speaking upon what they had going on. I mean, we wasn't sticking our nose in folks in them business. They weren't sticking our no on their nose in our business. But at the end of the day, FYB, FBG, they is not from the hood, man. They got y'all ass food. They is not 63rd. They is not 62nd. They is not 64th. They asses imposters. Oh, um, bro. And when it comes to Lil Taekwon, yeah, Shawty from the hood, but Lil Taekwon, I mean, you know, he was a kid. You know what I'm saying? He was a kid that got wrapped up in some shit. The ops didn't do. Let's make that clear. The ops didn't do. But he got wrapped up in some shit and caught a stray bullet. Oh, bro. And you know his little friend, them, you know, I mean... His little homie Nim, that was his crowd, took his name and you, I guess they made a gang out his name in the honor of him. But well, fucking um, who else? Trill, BT, the ops didn't do that. They didn't do that. STL didn't get no get back for BT. But anyway. He got wrapped up in some shit trying to go get his pipe back that his bitch brother then took from him. Like I say, everybody took guns from STL. For now, who didn't take a gun from STL? He trying to go get his gun back from his bitch brother and got his ass man down. Didn't make it so bad. They knew he was finna go try to go get his gun back. They knew it. They knew he was finna try to go get his gun back. And, he, and and didn't even go aid in the system. They let him go over there, try to go get his gun back, and got his ass left in the game away. The ops didn't do that. Who else? When it come to D, D caught a headshot with Diesel. Diesel was with him. D caught a headshot. They didn't get no get back for that. On phone in, they didn't get no get back for that. Tuka got left on the bus stop. They didn't get no get back for that. STL didn't get no get back for that. That's supposed to be their homie. All these FYB goofies got nil. They didn't get no get back for that. 
They don't get get back. They was just rappers, man. EBT was the business, period. EBT and a couple of the guys from all 62nd, man. Four them. That's who was protecting and serving the hood, man. Then when all this clicking up shit came about, that's when everything went downhill. P, all the back those shit came about. But a lot of the guys that got put in the ground, that shit didn't come from the ops. My mama, that shit came from back door. That shit came from, you know what I'm saying, our side beating each other. We ain't lose no war. We beat each other. And despite what's going on on our side, nigga, we still one of the strongest hoods in Chicago. We ain't worrying about no other side. We worrying about each other. But at the end of the day, STL, FBG, FYB, they is not on anything, man. Straight up. <laughs> at all. Young or nobody. Dutchie, he from the hood. But at the end of the day, come on, let's be for real. What did Dutchie do for the hood? Nothing. He did the same shit that Young and Cash did. Hid behind the internet talking crazy. That's it. Yeah, I give him that. He from the hood. But at the end of the day, man, look, I knew him. He ain't did nothing. P, and y'all talk about this old, oh, BZ, you bogus. G, you bogus. You bogus for this. You bogus for that. You bullying that. Man, at the end of the day, man, that nigga, good or bad, do not, des do not deserve the, the honor and speaking upon my name, because at the end of the day, I got history with him and all his bitch-ass homies. And them niggas set up and sneak this. And sneak this for years and years and years and years on my name. For you to get on the interview and try to clear it up with trying to say something good. Like, that shit going to butter me up. At the end of the day, that shit don't butter me up. I know what's going on. I know who I am and I know what's going on on oh, little bit. Nigga, so for all these years you sat around niggas and y'all sneak this on me and stir lies up on my name and to get on the interview and speak. Try to speak good on my name. Man, that was a slap in my face, nigga. Because beyond these fans, beyond this internet, he know. Oh, bro, he know. He sat around niggas and they came together and stirred up lies, knowing they lies. I don't know what the fuck they thought was going to happen behind that. But nigga, don't, don't speak upon me. And I'm going to say it again. I don't care how many fans get up under the comments and say, oh, Dutch, he, he ain't say nothing bad. He can't say nothing bad. If he say something bad about BZ, it's a lie. My mama. But nigga, don't speak upon me. If a nigga asks you about BZ on the interview, yeah, man, I know, dude. Um, bro, I don't want to speak upon dude, though. Period. On to the next question. Nigga, you niggas don't deserve the honor to speak upon BZ. Nah. And that's what it is. But continue to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that. Hold on, wait. When D got shot in this shit, D's who ain't do shit. He was with D. He ain't did nothing. Nothing at all on my mama, and he knew who did it. That nigga running around retarded right now. Day Day Diesel, big homie D, whatever the fuck y'all know his bitch ass by. He ain't did nothing. Nigga, he ain't my fucking throw rice at a wedding. He ain't bust a grape in Wilts' backyard behind D, and that's supposed to have been his homie. Nigga, he caught a headshot in front, in front of him, and he got hit. Both of their ass got hit. And he ain't do shit. They ain't get no get back for none of they homies. And how many pipes they got took. So before y'all get up on the comments and get to taking sides and picking sides, man, know what's going on and know who really motherfucking really sacrifice freedoms and, 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 and really sacrifice shit for this war, for this street shit. These niggas ain't sacrifice nothing. They just hid behind the internet. And got a lot of people killed. On oh, my mama. Well, a lot of they homies killed. 
That's all they did. And when it come to me, I'm good. I sit back and make plays and let a motherfucker think whatever they think behind it on, bro. And it's only going to get greater for me. Mark my word. Just stay tuned. For now. And for those not in tune, get in tune on, bro. The affiliate is dumbass. Get in tune, stupid. <laughs> Continue to like, subscribe, comment, share. All that shit. Run me up, man, the right way. And for my supporters, y'all know how we rocking, man. On my mama. Continue to support the real all the way around the board. And for the haters and the trolls, continue to do what y'all do best. Hop behind the internet and talk slick.